Let's start off with Michigan and Alabama in the playoff. Joey did our preview. Actually went viral. I call it viral. I guess 30,000 views. Actually, more than that. But regardless, uh, we had a lot of people debating with us on our thoughts and preview of the Rose Bowl, Michigan versus Alabama. Good, sir. I will give you the floor first. What are your thoughts on and what is your pick on who is going to win this game? For Michigan versus Alabama, I, I think that this one is going to be the most highly contested of the of the battle. And I, I think that – or of the weekend, rather. I think that this game – is so evenly matched. I see so many people saying that Alabama is going to blow out Michigan, but with similarities in their play style, being so physical up front, uh, having really good defensive lines, having strong offensive line performances at the final stretch of the season, it's very, very close. Mm. But I think that the fact that Jalen Milrow is hot and J.J. McCarthy is cold right now, and the fact that this Alabama offensive line is hot and we just lost Zach Zinter for Michigan, that I have to go with Alabama. As much as it pains me, I have to go with Alabama. I think that they win this game by a singular score. I think it's going to be really low scoring. I don't believe that Jalen Milrow plays a perfectly clean game. I think that there's going to be mistakes on both sides. And whoever plays the cleaner between Milrow and J.J. McCarthy will win. And in my eyes, that will be the Crimson Tide. Yeah, it's interesting because it's like when you come out here and say, man, it all comes down to the quarterback, it's like, well, no, duh. You know, like the people listening to that, it's like, well, no, duh. But here's – I'm not completely off from where you are. I don't think that they're going to – I know I was kind of joking earlier when we did the preview and said that they were going to blow them out. But I do think that there is a path for that to happen for Alabama. Again, I'm old enough to – look, man, I've lived this – for the last almost decade and a half of my life, having to be on the other side of the Nick Saban era, literally on the other side of this Nick Saban era as a fan, as a dude that covers college football for a team in the sport. Joe, I just don't, I, I, I just don't think that Michigan has seen a team like this. I don't think that they've seen a team necessarily with, and, and you could say Ohio State, and I would agree, but oh, I think Alabama is more physical with having elite speed all around, just green glass, green grass dudes. And as I can't believe I have to just continue to tell people this, who and I saw a lot of Michigan people in the chat in our comment section, they were routed, they were mad at us for picking Alabama. There's one key thing that they forgot about. Saban is still on the sideline. He has still had a month to prepare for this team. And I feel like when you go a little old school, Joe, and you want to run the football the way that they do, go under center, it bodes exactly to what Alabama wants to do. Or They love it. They don't want you spreading them out. I saw a guy in Les Miles year after year. Now, I'm not saying Harbaugh and his offense is Les Miles. Don't get twisted what I'm saying. What I am saying is, The same style of play is what Saban thrives in. He doesn't want you, okay, to tick, tick. He wants you to tick, 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 tick down the clock so that he can have his time to rest, rotate guys in and out. You're playing into his hand. I would not be shocked if we saw a little curveball here and there from Harbaugh, run a little tempo, get some things going. I just don't think it's going to be enough. I think Alabama is too loaded on both lines of scrimmage, and I know Michigan is, but Michigan has not seen, and I'm telling you, they have not seen these dudes on the edge like this. You can say whatever you want about Ohio State. I get what you're saying. I understand the argument. Dallas Turner does not bow well for these tackles at Michigan. They are going to play bump and run, man-to-man coverage on the outside, Joe, and they're going to put dudes in the box, and they're going to say beat us. I just don't think it's a good matchup for Michigan whatsoever because they have not been tested. One final thing. Mm -hmm. I know that there have been a lot of ups and a lot of downs for this Alabama team along the year. Every single week, it seemed like it's what Alabama will you get today? Joe, the last six weeks, they have been on one. And they've and, and you can say, well, Blake, what about Auburn? Okay, what about a road game? Have you ever, have you ever watched the Iron Bowl a day in your life? That game's always going to be tr- somewhat close and within three points. Joe, they're battle tested. 
the only real thing that I think Michigan's truly battle tested in is the game against Ohio State. They weren't ever going to lose yeah. to Penn State. Penn State can't score. Jalen Milrow is the best athlete, and I'm going to make a very wild statement. I think he's the best quarterback that they've seen this year. I, I yeah. So now, yeah. Take, what about that dumpy kid at Iowa? You think that that dumpy kid at Iowa is better? That's than- the diet version of Ben <laughs> Roethlisberger. I'm obviously joking. I'm obviously I'm taking joking. Alabama close, close six. I was I was at ten plus. I'm not going there anymore. I've watched a lot of Michigan the last two weeks. Give me Alabama, but I do think it's a, a touchdown, no extra point uh, differential. It hurts me that I have to agree with you on this. But to round out my point, I'm very fearful of the fact that Jim Harbaugh and Michigan do not step into these types of environments well. Well, I don't have oh, any. In, I don't have any examples of them succeeding in these situations. My main example. Last year against TCU with basically the same roster and a big talent gap, big, big talent gap. They didn't get their asses kicked, but they got beaten a lot worse than they should have. If they were going to lose, it should have been by a score in the final seconds. But so many mistakes happen by the hands of J.J. McCarthy. So for that reasoning, I without a doubt cannot go with Michigan. Bet online remains your top spot for all of your live betting action and contests. NFL, college football, UFC, NHL are all in full swing. Bet online is your number one source for wagering news, odds, trends, and predictions with both desktop and mobile access at any time. Head to Bet Online today and use promo code Believe. That's B L E A V for fifty percent off your first. Deposit that is a 50% welcome bonus. Bet online where the game starts.